Hello class, you are currently looking at a diagram of the Microsoft Excel 2007 opening screen. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program. A spreadsheet program is like a grid or a table that allows you to enter text and numerical data in rows and columns. You'll see here in this diagram that many of the labels here are the same as they are in Microsoft Word um, because several of the things at the top and the bottom are the same and they work the same. But then a lot of the things in the middle are different. Make sure you pay close attention and fill in your blank diagram as we go over the different parts of the Excel 2007 opening screen. Starting at the top, we start out with the round button in the upper left hand corner and that is your office button just like it is in Microsoft Word. Your office button is just a drop down menu whenever you click on it and it gives you access to frequently used programs or frequently used options such as printing and saving and opening files. Next you have your quick access toolbar which is the very small toolbar that you can customize and add or remove buttons to and from. Um, it usually starts out with the save command, undo, and then print, and then you can add or take away buttons as you need to. Next you have tabs that are at the top of or attached to the ribbons. Your tabs are just titles that you click on and each time you click on it, you, each time you click on a different one you get access to different types of buttons. All right, then you have your ribbon, which again we just mentioned that your tabs are attached to and they just contain different types of buttons that you can use. Your title bar is next to your quick access toolbar and your title bar has the name of the program along with the name of the file that you're currently using. In Microsoft Excel it says book one and then Microsoft Excel because that's the program. In Microsoft Word remember that instead of book one it would always say document one or document two or three depending on how many um, documents you had open on your screen. All right, skipping the ribbon since we already talked about that, we're going to go over to the Help button. Now, we didn't talk much about the Help button in Microsoft Word, but in every program there is a little blue question mark or a question mark inside of a blue circle over to the right. And anytime you have a problem, you're not sure how to do something or not sure what something is, you can just click on this question mark and you can type in some keywords and then you'll get some help topics that come up. Alright, over on the left side of the screen you'll see the name box. The name box is just a white box that contains a letter and a number. That letter and the number inside of the name box is called your cell address or your cell reference. Your cell address just corresponds to the cell or the square or rectangle, whatever you want to call it, um, that you have clicked in with your mouse. The active cell is the cell or the rectangle that has this bordered box around it. Your active cell is the one that's ready for you to enter data. So whichever cell has that bordered box, when you start typing, that's the box that the data is going to go in. Alright, now you have your insert function button and your insert function button is just a place for you to click so that you can um, look for a particular function, some t something that's going to um, calculate something for you and we'll get into that later. Actually, you'll probably um, work more on the functions if you take computer apps too. Your formula bar is right next to your insert function button, the F of X button. The formula bar is the long white bar 
where whenever you type in data in a cell, when you click in that cell, you'll see it show up in the formula bar. You can also type information in that formula bar. It doesn't have to be a formula. It can be any kind of data. All right, your column letters are next, and you'll see that across the top of the Excel spreadsheet, um, it starts with letter A, and it goes on for several columns, for many, many columns. And these letters just represent the different columns that you have in a spreadsheet. So just remember, columns, first of all, are vertical, and they are represented by letters. Rows are just the opposite. Rows are horizontal, which means that they go across, and they are represented by numbers. And that's why when you go up to the name box, you'll see A1 or a letter and a number, because that letter and number is representing the columns where the column and the row intersects, which is the cell. Next, you have sheet tabs. They're located at the bottom, bottom left-hand side. By default, every time you open up Microsoft Excel, you'll see three sheet tabs. It'll say Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. These are just different worksheets within the workbook, the whole workbook that you are working on. Now, you can add sheets if you need to, and you can take them away if you don't need them. And you can also rename them, which we'll learn how to do later. Your status bar is below your sheet tabs, and your status bar is similar to the one that you have in Word. And you'll see that here it says it's ready, because that means it's ready for you to enter data. Your scroll bars are over on the right side of your screen, and you have two different ones. You have a vertical scroll bar, which is the one that's down the right-hand side. And then you have a horizontal scroll bar, which is at the bottom. Then you have your zoom slider, which is just the same as the one that you'd have in Word. It's just a little slider button that you can move left or right to zoom in or zoom out. And this is not actually labeled, but notice that you have three little view buttons to the left of the zoom slider. And these just allow you to change the view of your Excel spreadsheet. Make sure that you study this. Make sure that you keep up with your study guide where you just filled in the different labels of the Excel spreadsheet opening screen. You will have a test next week.